Oasis memorabilia expected to make thousands at auction, including football shirt and tambourine saved from Skip. Noel wore the football shirt during a charity football match. Jody, Jody, get ready. We're selling my left foot. Hello and welcome back to another video. If you weren't already aware, this channel is all about hunting for some of the rarest football shirts of all time. And it also just so happens that Oasis are by far and away my favourite band of all time. This is going to get a bit tasty. This is going to get fucking tasty, baby. Also, just before we go any further, the title of this video, I've not decided what the title actually is yet. It's going to suggest that I've won the shirt, even though we might not win it. I feel like it's easier to get people to click that than, oh, we might have won it. But I, d I don't know if I've actually won the shirt. Like, the auction hasn't happened yet. We might win it, we might not. Either way, it's gonna be a fun ride. <laughs> Secondly, we're trying to hit 150,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Also, can we hit 2,000 likes in this video? It would massively help me out if you could just like the video. And if you do enjoy it, like it. Like it now, like it. Give it a like, give it a little bit of a like. Little, tiny, little bit of a like. So, I think we should start this by finding out what the shirt actually is. Noel wore the shirt during a charity football match. He made a guest appearance for Boltmakers Arms FC in 1996. Although the brothers were renowned for being diehard Manchester City supporters, the personalised shirt is a deep magenta red with Oasis and N Gallagher 7 emblazoned on the back. Definitely said that word wrong. The football shirts came into Nick's possession at a recording session for Oasis's third album, Be Here Now, which was released in 1997. Not Noel's greatest work, that album, let's be honest. Shut up! He added, back in 1996, Oasis decided to sponsor one of their local pub teams. Adidas made a bespoke kit for the team and one-off shirts for the band members, each with their names on the back. Bonehead, Paul Arthurs and Noel kindly gave me their shirts at London's Abbey Road Studios during the recording of their album, Be Here Now. I was the engineer on this session. It's a match-worn shirt by Noel Gallagher. Like, there's no way of it not being. None of this certificate of authenticity rubbish. The sound engineer who worked with Oasis has got this one-of-a-kind shirt that was only ever given to Noel Gallagher. Buckle up. So, we're actually going to be trying to get a shirt that is match-worn by Noel Gallagher. The man who has written some of the best songs of all time. Champagne Supernova, Acquiesce, Gas Panic, Stop Crying Your Heart Out, Half The World Away, Don't Look Back In Anger, Wonderwall, and the best song of all time, Live Forever. Oh, what are we doing? What is going on? What is happening? I'm excited. I'm kind of excited too. Basically, it's my favourite band of all time. It's a football shirt, which is... It's, just, it's simply something that... I have to try and go for, like, I'm never going to see this item again, like, now the opportunity is there and I can viably go for it and give it a shot at least. It would be stupid for me to not try it, it would also be stupid to not make a video on it, so it's a business expense. <laughs> on a serious note, that last comment was a joke, you can see that the estimate for the auctioneer is saying between 1000 and 1500 but I've seen Bargain Hunt, that's not right, it's either going to go for way below that or way above it. Well, that's my opinion anyway. You must be blinking joking. You can also see on screen with this as well, my maximum bid is £1,000. So there's all I can financially justify to do. So that is my maximum. I'm not going to go above it. I think £1,000, I've maybe got about a 10% chance of winning it. Because let's be honest, it's all, the, thing with the, the thing with these things is, it's all about the right person seeing it. If the right people who are Oasis fans and maybe football fans and niche fans of items like this see this auction, it's going to go for around 5000 ish I reckon. That is my estimate at this current point. The thing that does lean in my favour though, are the generation of fans who like Oasis going to be looking on a random auction midday on a Tuesday? It's my personal opinion that that gives me a bit of hope because I think the target audience for it may not know of the auction's existence. But there has been an article from Enemy and Manchester Evening News. But even still, I think I would have less chance of winning it if it was on like eBay. 
Anyway, the auction's in a few days. I'll see you then. My god, this is so cool. It's like a real life episode of Bargain Hunt. Apart from in this one, they charge you 38% extra on top of everything you purchase. 38%? What are they doing with it? Plating it in gold? Putting some salt on it? Going down your arm hair? Pop culture reference that. With the times. It's getting close to our lot. We're seven lots away from our one. Getting kind of nervous. That's alright. I think. Might be wondering why is there no sound? Sound isn't working for me. Bit, oh, bit uncomfortable to watch, really. <laughs> Just a woman talking, not making any noise. Like most evenings of me and Jody. <laughs> Here we go then. Onto the Oasis stuff. We're starting off with Nebworth gig t-shirts. This is actually quite interesting because if these go for around their estimates, then we have a chance. But if I still stand by that the generation who go to auctions realistically weren't Oasis fans. For me anyway, we had eBay. Like I know the generation before me was realistically Oasis's main. I was born the year after Nebworth. So that's when Oasis really peaked. But like still... Still say they'd use eBay. They wouldn't. I think I've got a chance. Here we go then. We're next. It's on fair warning, the next thing is. Remember, our max bids are grand. Oh. Oh, we're underway. It's already at 600. Well, it's my bid. We're at 600. Come on, up the auto bids. She, she's talking. Is that good or bad? Have I won it? They're just giving it to me for free, I reckon. Oh, God, is flying. It's at six, 700. 750, 800. No. How quick do these... 850, 900? No. No. Oh, no, it's at 850. They're asking 900. It's up to 950. Oh, one more bid and we're gone. No one bid. No one bid. What is going on? Why? I don't understand what's going on. Internet bid winning it. Pop up and say fair warning. Come on. Say it, say it, say it. Fair warning, we're on the verge. We're doing it. Oh, What's happening? Yes! yes! Financially crippled, I don't care. Ah, oh, come on, there we go. Yes, absolute Bobby Dazzler. Have some of that. Bloody yes, come on. Because we need each other, we believe in one another. Thank you, Noel, um, for all the stuff. Could you imagine if Noel Gallagher somehow watches this and like never wore it? <laughs> no. Well, I guess I'll see you when the shirt arrives. We'll see you then. No, you won't. Hello again. So they've charged 38% on top. So it's came to £1,300. They've just emailed me asking for postage as well. Is that not... Ca Why? You're taking a 38% premium. I'm sure you can send something to Hermes Pass. Jesus. See you in a few days. Hello, hello. It has arrived. Just before that, I'm going to have a quick run. Right, so this was £950. They charged 38% on top of it. So it came to like £1,320. Then they charged me £21 for postage. And I flipped. <laughs> this is why my generation use eBay. You're charging 38% on top of 950 And you want to charge £21 for postage. So I rang them and asked why this was. They said the postage is £9. The packing fee was £12. <laughs> £12 to put a shirt in a jiffy bag. Use eBay. Is my... <laughs> is my... Whole experience from this is, use eBay. <laughs> anyway, more importantly, putting all of that aside, putting the money spent and everything aside, this is the most expensive football shirt I have, and unless I manage to find a match-worn Messi shirt, will ever buy. Like, I'm never gonna buy another shirt. Please understand, Oasis are my favorite band of all time. No Gallagher, in my opinion is the best songwriter of all time. And where the comments section is already going to be, Oasis were just a poor man's Beatles. I disagree.
Moving on. Good job they, they wrapped Fragile around the jiffy bag. That'll stop it from getting ruined. Oh, oh, there's a letter in there. I bet this is just an invoice, isn't it? Is this just an invoice? Yep. <laughs> so, here we go then. A football shirt designed for, worn by, Noel Gallagher. <laughs> what on earth is this? Here it is. Ah, oh, this is so cool. This is so, so cool. This is ridiculous. See it on screen as well. Oh, hang on a minute. Scrap that. Ah, oh, this is amazing. I love it. I love it so much. I wear this as basically a shirt for a pub team. The most expensive pub team shirt there probably ever will be. There's going to be a few people saying, Ellis, that's not worth that much. It, it, well, people had already offered it. Someone else bid 50 quid less than me, so the worst case is worth £50 less than I bid on it. And it's one of these things that I love Oasis. I love football shirts. See it on screen right now. The shirt design itself is obviously class. The burgundy colour, which is interesting, obviously, because Oasis, famously Man City fans, they've got like a burgundy red shirt. You've got the N Gallagher print on the back as well. It's, a it's so cool. This is so cool. Even the design itself, working with the black three stripes down the side, where one sleeve had a red, the red burgundy strip and the black going down the right side of it as well. I love this so much. I love it so much. Yes! Right then, aware that shirt is going to divide a few opinions on this, we've purchased over the last year or so several amazingly rare shirts. Like every shirt behind me right now is rare in its own right. But we're never... When a shirt like that appears, I have to at least go for it and I have to cover it on the channel because the whole point of this channel is to find stuff like that. Um, and I think we've hit our peak. Unless we find a match or Messi, like Garincha, Maradona, you, you know, Pele. Like, Garincha's done well to find himself in that four, hasn't he? <laughs> My tactic now in terms of finding shirts is I want to try and find more one-off shirts like that, maybe once every one or two months. That's why the football shirts I purchased in Insert Month Name series has kind of gone, because I don't tend to purchase many recently. Like, I'm trying to find more, like really cool shirts like i want match worn england shirts they're the dream like match worn leeds shirts i'd love a match worn rafinha shirt any england player shirt i would love um match worn messi obviously is still the aim but yeah it's gonna take some topping to top a match worn noel gallagher shirt also don't turn off just yet because i need to say this do not think 1300 pounds is a reasonable amount to spend on a football shirt as I've said throughout this video, I'm a massive Oasis fan, I'm a massive collector of football shirts, and I could just about financially justify attempting to get this shirt with my budget. I've still sold shirts to fund it, I've still had to get rid of a few shirts from my collection to get up to the amount of being able to purchase this one shirt. Do not get the idea that this is something that people normally do. A lot of the big purchases on this channel, even a massive purchase for a football shirt, is different to each people. Always spend in your own budget. I know it sometimes becomes hard for me to say that when I've made a video dedicated to a shirt like this, but if your budget is £50 a year on shirts, you can still get some amazing shirts. Don't see this as the norm, okay? Only spend what you can afford and only spend what you can justify. There's amazing shirts for every single budget. This is not normal. Okay, just to make that very clear. I've been Ellis. Be sure to subscribe for more football shirt content and some cheeky away days as well. Please leave a like on this video if you have enjoyed. I would like to be able to hit like targets without doing giveaways. So, spent £1,300. Can we hit 2,000 likes for that? Leave a comment on what you think of that. And inevitably, loads of people will be letting me know their opinions on Oasis as well, which is fantastic. Liam's better. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Whoopee.